Hello everyone! Hi, I'm Luke from the Chess Champs and we're back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you a very cool opening, one of my favourites. And this opening is called the Ponziani opening. Now, I taught this to a few, a few of my friends and they absolutely loved it. It's a very aggressive opening. You need to play aggressively, otherwise you won't get far with it. So I'm going to show you a few lines, what you should take from this, and how you can use it in your own game. So it starts off normally. E4, E5, Knight F3. That attacks this pawn over here. Then, usually, he responds with Knight C6, which defends that pawn there. So now, instead of, t instead of going into a usual line, like Bishop C4 or bishop b5. Instead of doing that, we go for a rather strange move at first, but it has a lot of theory into it. c3, which is um which anticipates the move d4 gaining the center and having advantage in the middle game. Now, there are a few most common moves. There is bishop c4, knight f6, and finally, d5. So we're going to go through all of them. First of all, I'm going to go through knight out to f6. It's quite a common move. Now, in this position, I generally like to move forward. And now they have a lot of possibilities and a lot of options. So one of them is that they take here. Now, in this position, I generally move this up. And the knight doesn't have a lot of good places to go. It can't go back because that would obviously be wasting a move. It can't go here because of the trap. So if I go back. And so the, the general idea is that it has to really go there. And after that, we take. Now, in this position... 80% on the database, 80% of players play this move, d6. Good move at first, right? Well, no, this is actually a blunder. Let's go through it. We bring out our bishop with a check. If the bishop comes and we take, there is only one move. Queen takes, and we're up a queen, and we're just going to have an advantage. So, let's go back to that line here. Another possibility is to block with a queen, but obviously we can just take. Uh, last possibility is this. We takes, takes, takes. And then if takes, we take. And that is a three-way fork. Blocking with the bishop or the queen does not help, as after we can pick up loads of material over here. I generally like to pick up the knight, as it's three points of material. But yeah, we're just generally winning in this position. So yeah, that was that line. So now let's go back to this line. Back to this line. Another very common move is bishop c4, which, bishop c5, sorry. This is actually quite an inaccuracy because it allows the move d4, takes, 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 takes. And now we have a really strong center. And if takes, we take, and we have this super strong uh, bishop on this diagonal, attacking this weak pawn and eyeing down that rook over there. And, yeah, we have our queen really early into the game. And at this point, we can just start develop normally. The bishop's blocked. Doesn't look good for him. We can pin this piece. As I said, it doesn't really matter what you do. Just as long as you get all your pieces out and play aggressively. Okay, last move. This is probably the trickiest to understand as there are so many lines. D4, which counterattacks this. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Which counterattacks this. So, in this position... It's really good to bring, to bring the queen out here. And in this line, what we generally do, what they generally do is do this, okay? So in this position, I like taking, just because it brings pressure. Now he has to move with a discovered attack on the queen. Notice I can't take because of this discovered attack on the bishop, eyeing down my queen. So, eventually... We will have to move our queen back. Now, in this position, you may be thinking, oh, I can just get all my piece out as black. But you can't. The problem is this knight is still being attacked 
by this pawn, so we have to move it. Generally, you'll make a trade, takes, and you have a really strong centre. At some point, you can play the move d4, which, although you have double pawns, you have a strong centre ready. And, yeah, he will move his out here, give a check. I like blocking with the bishop because of this centre. Uh, two pieces protect this e4 square. And, yeah... So if we go back, so yeah, this is another line. Now, in this line, he takes and we take. Now, the most common move here is queen out, but even if they don't play queen out, you can keep adding pressure to this pin and eventually you might get something juicy, but for now, we're just going to play queen d5. Now... You will take with this, and you'll notice that you can't take with the queen because of this pin. This queen can't move anywhere because of this bishop, which x-rays down this king and the queen. So, after some moves like this, we check. Notice that's actually a blunder because then we pick up the rook after. So, we're going to go back to that line. So, takes, takes, queen out. He takes, and although he has saved himself from that, we have really bad pawn structure for black. His pawns are doubled, he has an isolated pawn, and double isolated pawn. It's not looking good. So then, we play the move bishop out, which attacks the queen. <laughs> Let's just say he goes back somewhere. And then we just get all of our pieces out, and we will have a really strong centre. So that is it for this opening, guys. All, all you need to take from this is that the Ponziani is very good, but always play aggressively. Always pressure Black's pieces. Always pressure the king. Don't give him much chances to develop. And always play aggressively. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you. And if you enjoyed, please subscribe, hit the like bell, and smash that bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Thank you. The Chess Champs out.